Hello everybody and welcome back to some Isaac. Today we're going to be doing a Dr. Fetus run because I've been asked for it quite a bit and obviously everyone knows Dr. Fetus but we're going to be interjecting a little bit of modded fun to this by taking the bomb book which is going to give us a random bomb synergy for the floor once every six runes when we use it which I think is going to be pretty interesting. It'll mean that each floor is a little bit different and we're not going to know what bomb synergy we end up getting until we fire our bombs. So this one it looks like we got herming bombs. So definitely cannot disagree with that. Uh, I'm playing as Judas here just because I wanted a little wee bit of extra challenge uh, with this. And I didn't really know what would be best to do. Might be worth taking that. we got little Hornfell here, which I don't know how good he's going to be. Do I have to charge him up? No, I don't. Okay, so he'll be he'll be a little bit more useful than I thought. Um, I'll take the cracked key, thank you. I don't exactly know where I'm going to use the cracked key. Probably here. <laughs> Maybe not the best usage ever, but... I'm not very creative with those. Either way, uh, as for the question of the day today, what's your favourite bomb synergy in Isaac from any uh, vanilla or modded uh, item? There are some really, really interesting ones. I think most recently the black hole bombs have been my favourite just because they're kind of insane. They work really, really, really well with other bomb synergies as well. Um, it's just kind of like a, a, a sort of synergy magnet style thing where it just works with so many different things. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to try out recently. It does seem quite powerful as well. I mean... Just in terms of how strong it can be, it does seem like uh, it's on airing on the side of being pretty goddamn good. Boom bow. Ooh, love a little bit of extra change there. Ceiling with the stars would be kind of decent to grab, I guess. Um, maybe I should destroy these piggies as well then and see if we get anything uh, anything worthwhile from destroying them. Sadly, sadly not. Uh, do you know what? In that case, I'm just going to buy the card. We get a three of clubs. That was not the, the, the most worthwhile three of clubs ever. Pretty much everything in there is entirely useless to me. I'm sorry, Buck Up Isle. You are not for me this day. You are not for me this day. We got an arrow room. Um, I guess. And then I guess we'll take another bomb. Not that we need it. But it gets added on. It gets added on. Oh, before they even jump, thank you. Uh, having the herming right now is very nice, but hopefully we will see some modded synergies here and there as well I'm gonna save my charge for the next floor. Obviously the later floors we get on the more use we'll get in a floor Dude, this is really frustrating. Thank you. <laughs> it was really really hard to hit. Yeah, we won't use it uh, a second usage here But on the later floors we will get more usages per floor, which will make it even more intriguing uh, Oh, Right as I said that I used it by accident <laughs> Oh, we got a, a, a sort of I don't know what bomb that was do you know what? Because that was a complete accident, I'm going to just debug A it, give myself that charge back, because it's more fun that way. There you go. Um, we get this. I did even open the alt path there accidentally, but I think it's worthwhile as going down there, so let's do it. Um, second secret room. I guess I could at least check on the particular spots. Nah. Okay. Right, to the next floor. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to go alt path, because why not? We might as well. But yeah, I do, I do like Dr. Fetus as an item. I think it's it's one of the sort of tier-changing items that's like... Um, I, I've never seen that happen before. I don't know why we were just given this bomb item. Um, this is this is the one that we just saw. Um, spawn uh, orbital burst bears for each killed enemy by explosions. 25% chance to spawn. Okay, that seems really good. Uh, yeah, I don't know why we were just given that as an item. Is that just an effect of this book that I didn't know about? If it is, I'm pretty happy with it. We've also got the Eternal Bombs here, which deal a lot of extra damage to bosses. Uh, so for this floor, the boss should get absolutely decimated. I think it's like 50% extra damage to bosses. It's a lot. Doesn't do anything extra to normal enemies, though. Got a random bomb back off of that. Lovely. This is a little bit tricky, this is. Having kind of a hard time with some of these guys. Not seeing any burn spares here, unfortunately, out of these burn bombs. Oh, there you go. There was one. That was rather nice. I think it's because those other enemies didn't technically die. They just turned into another enemy. So it didn't count. But it's working now. It's working now. Um, and there you go. There's another bomb upgrade. Bombs will bridge gaps now, which is pretty nice. Wasn't expecting to find them in the item rooms, but you know what? I'll accept it. I'll accept it. But yeah, being able to bridge gaps with our bombs now is, is pretty darn useful, potentially. Also, I like the way we've got a hard hat with a top hat on top of it. That's just funny. Right. Let's pop this guy. As I said, if we get any of these eternal bombs here, they're going to do insane damage to him. So, yeah. I knew he had absolutely no chance there. <laughs> but there you go. He is 
the, the Kako man is down. Um, we get a $2 coin spawns a golden penny on pickup. That's actually a kind of interesting boss item, you know. Uh, I, I like the idea of with it being quality zero as well. Because it has the potential to be great, as that was. Or it has the potential to really, really suck. I think that's kind of an interesting item that's a little bit of a gamble. Okay, I don't know where to launch this bomb to have it actually hit where I want it to hit. I, I, th I think I've tried enough there. I, th I think it would have hit, wouldn't it? If a uh, secret room was there. But yeah, again, we won't use our like, extra charge here. We'll try and save it for the next vlog. We've not got a ton of rooms left here, but... Still want to explore a little bit. Uh, secret room, that's what I was looking for mainly. And we get Black Lotus as well, which is pretty darn good for us here. Rather, rather nice. And we get a few extra pennies here. I, I am looking for the shop now as well because I have a lot of money to work with. That golden penny was uh, very helpful. Because if you think about it, it's kind of like Pageant Boy where Pageant Boy is pretty bad, but it has the chance to be decent because you could get like a, a golden penny or whatever in that. Whereas this is like you get a golden penny and the golden penny could give you a ton of money. It could give you an absolute insane amount of money or it could let you down. <laughs> and you're, you're not really sure what you're going to get. You've just got to give in. Give in to Isaac and let it take you. See where the luck brings you. Right. Let's keep moving towards the shop and see if we can actually find it. Nothing in there, but we've been pretty lucky so far, I'd say. Especially considering we were just given a bomb upgrade. I'm still really unsure as to why that happened. It must be something to do with this book, but I, I, I don't understand it. There's a horse pill in here, and unfortunately there's an item we don't really need. It is, however, a book, um, so I will grab it just for two out of three on Bookworm. Oh, three out of three. Oh, we started with a book, didn't we? Of course. Okay, so there we go. That was an unexpected Bookworm there. Yeah, as Judas, we start with a book. That's actually exactly why I picked Judas. That was the whole reasoning behind it. It wasn't a complete accident. Believe me, please. <laughs> right, anyways, let's keep her going. Um, unfortunately, the shop item there. Although it gave us bookworm, wasn't the best for us. Yeah, I'll take book penny. I think book penny's slightly better. It does increase the chance of getting um, drops from poop, which I like. I don't know what's going on with the, the water there. Uh, the fire, sorry. Making all that noise. And we get scatter bombs this time around. Which is... Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, no. Whoa, I'm confused. Okay, there you go. There's scatter bombs. The they don't always scatter bomb, but they've always got the visual appearance of the um, the, the pit filling bombs, which is slightly confusing. Oh, and there's 2020 doing its thing. Uh, not 2020, you know what I mean. Oh, God, I never know when it's coming. I'm going to be hurting myself with that this floor quite a bit, dude. Game's doing us a solid right now. Up to 72% angel chance for this floor, so... I reckon we can make that happen. I would also bet heavily that we're going to uh, be able to use our active a second time on this floor. There's a lot of floor space to work with here. Oh, I can't actually kill those things. I didn't realize. My bad. Is that it? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, I gotta say, because like, look, we've got another L-shaped room over here. Look, I'll go do that next because that'll give us our book charge the quickest. And we can pop another book charge. I oh, really went straight into the fight. Oh, I don't even know what happened in this room. Sticky Bombs is potentially good. Uh, shop, yet again, very useful for us with the amount of money we have, potentially. <sighs> Chaos. Okay, I'm going to come back to Chaos after my Angel deal. Um, but I'm not going to go into my item room. I'm going to leave my item room. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, amplifies or changes books activation effects. Oh, okay. I wonder, I wonder if that affects modded books. I don't know if it's from the same mod as the one I'm using, unfortunately. Right, um... Yeah, let's let's do our let's do our boss. Just because I want to get my angel deal to be an actual angel item is why I'm doing this this way around. Oh wow, you got destroyed. Didn't get the angel deal, unfortunately, so that was a bit of a waste. Right, I'm still gonna take chaos though. Chaos is a lot of fun. Um, bomb items could show up in a, a few more places, and the bomb beggar pool has a little bit of a glitch with chaos every now and again, which is really nice. Sometimes a, a floor will generate where it only takes from the bomb beggar pool and no other pool. It's super rare, it doesn't happen often, but it, the fact that it can happen is kind of worthwhile for us. That's a big old explosive diarrhea there. 
Wow, I'm surprised it stopped when I left the room. I, I expect it to fully expect it to continue. Right, with chaos, we're gonna get whatever that is there, unfortunately, and we get ourselves the black bean. Hell yes, amazing. But yeah, I'll, I'll go do this extra room to get some more charges. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm very curious to see um, if this book, if this book trinket works with modded books. I'm gonna expect it not to, and not gonna be disappointed if it doesn't. But I am still curious to find out. I'm gonna bomb that as well for the. Added chance of uh, reflected items. Very, very nice. Very, very good. Right, let's make our way down to the next floor. I can keep going on the uh, on the alt path, to be honest. I mean, I've got the bombs, haven't I? Excuse me. Why did that? Why did that bomb not go across the pit like the others did? X, the sticky bombing onto my fucking. Oh my god! I've got sticky bombs and they're sticking to my friend. That was a waste of hearts, right there. That was that was kind of silly that it, it works that way. That was kind of silly. Not best pleased with that, I've got to say. Okay, you guys are going to be throwing all sorts of stuff. Careful here. Oh, God, spiders and like small enemies are so annoying to hit with their uh, Dr. Fetus. It's not always the worst, but it can be. Right, remember we don't have sticky bombs anymore. We got Teller bombs, which I gen genuinely hate. Yeah, te Teller bombs with Doctor Fetus is uh, really bad. Oh god, te yeah, this is this is this might be genuinely one of the worst possible bomb items we could get. Now we have to stay away from this little red thing and then bomb. Otherwise, we'll end up hitting ourselves. Which is, yeah, it's just stupid. Yep. This is awful. Telebombs is genuinely one of the worst items ever. I absolutely despise it. I, get, I keep getting told by people, Oh, it's super easy to use. You're just using it. No, it's bad. It's, it's, it's just so bad. This, this floor, we have to speed through. Otherwise, I'm going, I'm going to die. Too spooky. Bag of bobbies. I'll put some money into the charge, dude. See if we can get some other bomb upgrades going that'll help me out. Brimstone bomb seems nice. Nancy bombs. A random golden penny. Sad bombs in there, dude. We got loads going on this floor, but I'm still gonna be hurting myself a ton. We've really got to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Okay. Too spooky also doesn't help because we're gonna get close to enemies. Interesting, but not the best for us. Does give us five bombs, though, I guess. Oh, wait. Here, hold up. Modded book effect, no effect. Ah. It even says it right there. What the hell's this? Okay, I guess I'll take that. Pop that again as well, why not? <laughs> this is so just messed up. I'm getting the hang of it a little bit now, but it's still not good. The brimstone bombs certainly help when they pop off. At this moment in time, I am just trying to get myself the hell out of here. I very much need to go. It's 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 working better than it should right now. Better than it should. I'm gonna save a charge now at this point. When, yeah, so right next to the boss. Okay, I've been able to fill in the pits. It's very nice here. Okay, you're going to be a shit, but... Yeah, do you know, no, you're just going to be a shit. This is going to be really, really annoying. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hurt myself a ton here because I have to chase him around. Okay, that, that wasn't as bad as it could have been, but it still wasn't great. We got ourselves this little fella. 
Right, let's get ourselves to the next floor where we don't have telebombs anymore. Thank goodness. Do not give me telebombs back, please. Brimstone bombs straight away. Okay, lovely stuff. Now, we're not going to know when there's a brimstone bomb coming up, which is slightly problematic, but overall, not bad for us. Got you. Unfortunately, the brimstone bombs seem to be reasonably rare. I.e., we haven't seen a single one thus far, which is quite surprising. Ah, oh my god. Did I not actually get hit there? Wow. Kind of surprised. Okay. S -s Somewhat going okay. I was, yeah, come, come on, Brimstone Bomb. Just, just, just one would be nice. Book item again. I'm just waiting for uh, Dr. Fetus items. Uh, unfortunately, nothing great there. Unfortunately, Chaos hasn't really been amazing for us thus far. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Secret Room's almost definitely here as well. There you go. You just can you can just tell in this game. 12% uh, chance to get a single use Holy Mantle upon taking damage. That's actually pretty goddamn good. I mean, technically I could get that, considering my Trinket does nothing right now. Let's grab it. Yeah, on damage, small chance to gain a single use Holy Mantle is pretty goddamn good, I'd say. There was three there. What the hell? Oh, I had, I had a Succubus for a hot moment there. Oh, we got Brimstone Bombs again. <laughs> We've got two sets of Brimstone Bombs that don't trigger this floor. That's, uh, that's fantastic. How have we still not seen a single Brimstone Bomb yet? There you go. It finally happened. Craziness. Craziness. Oop, got a card there that I missed. My bad. There's a Brimstone Bomb as well. How did you not die to that? Well, wow. quickly check this out. Ah, I don't care about the freezing one, really. I know I should just take it and use it, but I'm stubborn. And I've hurt myself in confusion. Okay. Luckily, that enemy is very easy to kill with Dr. Fetus. Ah! Yeah, we've seen a good smattering of, of modded bomb effects as well. I'm just annoyed these bridge bombs cover up the visual effects of the bombs. Big old explosive diarrhea again. Okay, I guess the brimstone bombs will go hard here, so let's, let's hope we get a few. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, the spiders getting out of the way, please. Get him going. Get him going. Keep us annoying fly. Not the best. Oh, wow. That's that's an evil way to give an angel deal right there. That is just unprecedented amounts of dickness. Dickishness. Rocket in a jar. Beautiful stuff, baby. Beautiful stuff. That is a fun one to grab. That is a very fun one to grab indeed. Curse Collection is having some issues, apparently. Oh, it's regenerating the rocks, isn't it? Yeah, this one could get very interesting depending on what's given to us here. Pop the unknown here. Went for a secret room. Ooh, Long Elk. Which looks to be a card from um, Inscription. Familiar moves in the direction the player is shooting on contact with an enemy, deals 100 damage and becomes inactive. Needs to be touched again before active. Summon up to three vertebrae while moving. Okay. Intriguing. I see, I see. I see how it moves now. What's this do? Blowing up a Vega has a chance to spawn a different beggar in its place. I guess we'll be blowing up a decent amount of deggers. Deggers? Beggars? Goddamn, my brain. 
Okay, we're good, we're good. We're very, very red. We're a very red boy. Yes, very much liking having Rocket in a jar for a little bit here. This is quite good. Quite good indeed. I want to see what, what goes on with this book thing here. Okay, there you go. Did a lot of damage there. I got another one. And we get Blood Bomb. That's a pretty good combination there. Yep. A nice smattering of blood on the floor whenever we strike our missiles. Ow. It's okay. There was a soul heart to give to, give to us straight after. It's a pretty big floor here as well, so we're able to get quite a lot of bomb items going before we uh, move on. I like this. Is what I like about like this book and this why I've sort of integrated this because it gets so much better on the later floors when there's more charges to be gained. Oh hello. Unfortunately, this long elk thing just isn't very good for us in, the, in this situation. We got welting sack. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, hoo -hoo. rerolls an item into a pedestal. Ooh, we like that. I mean, to be fair, items are mystery anyways. So, can you chill out, my guy? What is going on with this? <laughs> it does not like it. Whatever's going on. Now we're just on the hunt for the item room. That's quite the large explosion right there. And we've got a devil chest for our hard work. Spawns an item from the current ruins pool. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, removes Isaac's oldest item. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to work, is it? Gift card. There you go. Glass eye, not bad. Yeah, I can't exactly remove my oldest item because that would be Dr. Fetus. Dude, that whatever's going on back there with Long Elk needs to chill out. It's not a nice sound. It's very visceral. A visceral, gross sound. Oh, dude, the Welting Sack has given us so much range potential. When the rocket hits, it just spreads so far. If only I wasn't missing every single rocket I fired. Okay. Item room be damned. Where art thou? <laughs> the long elk. It's having such issues. It, it's like, I don't want to share this guy. He's not having other friends. Take them out. Doing good on the health that we're getting. Oh, hello. Big burnies. Plush guppy. Thank you, thank you. Right, I think we go and we save our charge. Okay, the, the big boys are now the ones getting bullied by uh, our long elk. I tried to fire... Ugh, it doesn't matter what I tried, it didn't work. <laughs> I was trying to stop this glitchiness happening, but it didn't work the way I hoped. Right, boss should get relatively destroyed here. Yes. I relatively destroyed, I mean very heavily destroyed. Angel deal, what do we got? It's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. Also, this is very nice as well. We'll take that. Uh, Spirit of Denial can be kind of good. And we'll come in here and... Ooh, we did get a thingy. Uh, bombs teleport to the nearest enemy before exploding. This is tricky because Mega Mush is right there, but this is just obviously way more fun for us. Sharp Plug would be pretty fun too, to be honest. Using an uncharged active item fully recharges it at the cost of healing. Removes Red Hearts first. These are both very interesting for us. Sharp Plug could be so good, but I'm going to take the Tech Bombs. We'll use this a little more as well. Obviously, I'm, not, I'm guessing that the, the tech bombs aren't going to work right now because we're using uh, rockets. But once we go back to firing regular rockets, I'm guessing it will teleport them. Yeah, for, for, for right now, I think we, we can do a good job of pretty much sitting right here and uh, most, if not all, dying. It only depends if they spawn a little off kilter, really. Our bombs do an insane amount of damage to bosses. No, 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 no. Okay. Just about managed to save that. Oh, there you go. We got Herming. 
I knew he would. Oh, I love the rockets we're herming. They look so cool. Okay, cool. We don't have great range, though. Actually, no, it's okay. Oh, no, dude. They're hovering around my friends. That's not a good idea, bombs. Look at, look at them go. Look at them go. Yeah, stop. Stop getting closer to me and, uh, and kill the, uh, the guy under the ground, please. Thank you. I was getting a little worried there. But luckily now, I don't really need to aim so much. Having a really hard time killing anything with this fatty here, though. Scatter bombs in the mix. Why not? Yeah, this is quite something. Get him. The scatter bombs, man. Oh, my. Can someone kill this fatty Bernie boy? Stop just letting him be. Letting him be is not a way for this guy to work. But nothing seems to kill him. <laughs> How is nothing killing it yet? I think I'm just killing stuff before it gets the chance. Oh my god, scatter bombs is insane with this setup. Glass bombs, reflected blast. I don't know what that means. Oh god, okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. When I kill an enemy with a bomb, I think it produces more bombs. This is, uh... This is... This is something. This is something. I think I have bomb immunity maybe now, because I swear I'd be getting... Okay, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I just... I've, I've been very lucky somehow, I guess. Oh, I think the glass bombs don't do damage. I think that's what it is. Eternal bombs as well. Why not? I can't actually shoot the enemies I want to shoot, because they keep latching to my Bernie boys. I'm somehow alive, which is a wild star on its own. Yeah, I think I can just kind of leave everything on its own and it'll sort itself out. There can't be many waves left now, though, really. Oh, dude, there's so many Bernies here. They're good, but they gats to go. I'm gonna miss, uh. I'm gonna miss having the, uh, rocket in a jar. We get the clicker. I'm gonna re roll it. Experimental treatment. Oh, lowered our speed. We're dealing with some range and stuff, okay. Anyways. Let us go. Oh, there you go. There's the teleportation, which. Am I actually going to like? <laughs> it did work, though. So now I literally don't need to aim. It'll always, always land next to an enemy, which is very, very nice. Oh, we get sad bombs on top of that, too. Lovely. But, like, e even if I'm throwing a bomb here, look. No matter where they are in the room, it'll just teleport straight to them. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I got to say I like that. Ah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's a re like, how is that quality too? That just means all your bombs hit all the time. Although I guess it, it makes it harder to use them specifically how you want to use them, which is potentially a bad thing. But like, rooms like this, I've got no danger of bombing myself anymore. Oh, and it, it does indeed teleport to our friends here, so. What? That is still something I'm so baffled about with Isaac modding. And I'm sure there's some particular limitation as to why not. But why on earth? Uh, f familiars, like, uh, charmed enemies, still counted in the game's code as enemies. Like, look, at the f they're following me as if, and shooting at me as if they can do damage, and they can't. It's just, oh, it's annoying. I guess it's just easier than, like, rewriting the code or whatever. Like, to just repurpose it. Oh, I, got, I got the bombs I've already goddamn got. I don't need bridge bombs. I've already got those. My fire rate is unfortunately still pretty bad as well here. It'd be nice if we could get some be uh, better fire rate going. Oh, dude. Okay, all of you. All of you die on the spikes in this room, please. Long elk, please stop. Looks like they're not all going to die. God damn it. This is <laughs> slightly frustrating. Hey. I can bridge the gap to the hearts here. That's where bridge bombs comes in clutch. 
God damn it, game. I tried. It does make it a little harder to, like, get multi-kills, though. I will say that, like... It, it, it should be a lot easier normally if, if the bomb lands exactly where you want, want it to land. Also, why is the Larry health bar all broken again? I swear I changed the settings for that to be one continuous bar rather than every segment. I'll have to look into that. Maybe there was an update to the improved health bars mod and it's, it's tweaked it back to how it used to be. I'm having a little bit of a hard time on these floors. I kind of wish I'd have taken sharp plug now, but it would have been way more dangerous. Brimstone bombs again. It's just a fault unfortunate the brimstone bombs have such a such a low, low chance of procking. Seems to be like one in ten or less. Which is a bit of a shame. Oh come on now. Can I go the right way once, please? That was a very nice bomb there, lovely. Hey, there's a brimstone bomb as well. But there's going to be a lot of rooms where I can stay very, very safe and just fire off my bombs and they'll keep teleporting. Nice. Got a sad bomb in there. I don't think I'm really going to get anything out of you, am I? Oh, wait, no. Limbus. Player dies and has neutralized. Player will be turned into a soul for the current level. I could have re-rolled that, to be honest, and I probably should have done, but... Well, whatever. Why not Limbus it? Right, just stand here and let it teleport to the boss. Good stuff. <laughs> nice and easy breezy. Glorious, so we actually featured this item recently, but I'm going to re-roll that bad boy into a bag of trash. <laughs> Perfect. And we don't get anything we want in here at the moment. We do get a soul heart, though. I do like that. Thank you. Um, 50% chance on spawn. Eh, nah, we don't need that either. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But keep moving, and we're very close to another charge on our active. I am liking the fact that we're getting different bomb upgrades each floor. It's a little more unique, a little bit different. <laughs> where they just teleport. Oh, I keep doing that, though. Oh, I managed to get um, a health upgrade in that last room. I keep doing that where I fire a bomb right as everything dies and the room ends and it doesn't teleport away from me, so I just end up getting hit. Right, yeah, look. I got a HP up here. I don't exactly know where that was from, but I guess it was the bag of trash, which popped pretty goddamn quickly, but I can't complain about it, can I? I feel like I've been recording this episode for a really long time, but we're only at 32 minutes. It's not a super long run so far. Wheel of Fortune. I think it's just because last floor we just went to every single wrong room imaginable. This tends to make the floors feel like they take a bit longer, doesn't it? I kind of find it funny that we managed to get Chaos in this run as well. That's, that's an intriguing addition on top of this. And off of the back of Chaos, managed to find bomb items too. Like I said, there is higher chance of bomb items with Chaos, I think, overall. We got Red Bomber. Um, oh, is Red, is Red Bomber the one where I can shoot... Um, I can shoot through red walls. I think it is. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just do a few of them just in case. Apparently I can use my denials thing to reroll the bombs I fire. That's kind of uh an interesting way of working. Okay, I'm not getting through any red rooms at the minute, so maybe it's not that item. Maybe I was wrong. I'm, either that or I'm just getting very unlucky. How did that not kill him? Oh, dude, he's, he's like an absolute magician at dodging. We, we good here? We're good here. Right. Comper bomb. I don't... Uh, co uh, com comper. Comber bomb. I don't know what the combo blast is. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. It drops a red bomb at the end. That's going to be a lot of bombs there. We've got these follow-up bombs, which are pretty dangerous for us, to be honest. But at least they do teleport, but... Yeah, they're going to be pretty dangerous, I think. Especially considering they have, they're on such a large delay before they explode. But yeah, I can, I can do this now. 
and <laughs> re-roll my bombs into something once per room, which is kind of weird. I don't think I'm going to abuse it the whole way because it could just be a bit boring to watch, but it's, it's, it's interesting, I guess. Right, unfortunately, I used my book near the end there, so we're, we're quite a ways off a charge to start with, which is not what we wanted, really, is it? Now, this one's going to be annoying because we've got to basically finish the room before we can deal any damage. Okay, the, the room is, doesn't need dealing damage too, apparently, so that's okay. Yeah, I don't mind as long as I can still get out the door. Yeah, unfortunately, the bomb has no way of distinguishing what enemy's which. And so it will just try and blow up near an enemy regardless. Hey, we've got scatter bombs. Scatterbombs. Scatterbombs could actually be really, really, really strong here. Because I think all the scatterbombs will also then teleport. And if that's the case, yes, they do. So normally, scatterbombs isn't amazing because it's unlikely that the scatterbombs will do much damage. But now, all the scatterbombs always hit. And we'll see that in like the boss room and stuff. That's, that's kind of amazing. I, that's a really, really cool combo. A very cool combo indeed. Now, can we actually find our way to the boss, please? Yeah. You unleash your children. Ow, of course I hurt myself. Why wouldn't I? That's such a cool idea, that. Hey, Midas bombs as well here. Midas bombs. Oh, I didn't actually finish this room, annoyingly. Okay, so our, our bombs are going to be turning things into gold now, which seems quite strong for us too here. Unfortunately, we went the big wrong way. We got Rocket in a jar again, baby. Good old Rocket in a jar. Sorry, buddy. It's just the way it had to be. Okay, it's still the scatter bombs stuff still works, which is really nice. The scatter bombs still teleport, even if the rockets don't. Which actually makes it a very, very good idea to just launch a bunch of rockets into nothingness and hope they hit a wall and scatter shot. Look at that, and they're they're all doing Midas touch as well. <laughs> this is great. I'm liking this. It's a weird strategy, but I'm liking it. Look at that. Look at all the mini bombs go and Midas touching him. Amazing. I will surely miss that setup. But we're on for a new floor and a new setup. And potentially some crazy items here. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, these are all trash. Ooh, hello. I like this. Teleport straight in there, lovely. I want my scatter bombs back. Hot bombs. I know I've got super low speed now, but I'm like, extra charges. Sounds fun. More uses of my active sound very good to me. But the speed is a. Uh, it's a problem. Okay, I need to be open up all the chests we get here as well. How are you not dead yet? There you go. There you go. Friend Folio instead, I think. By the time we get back to the boss, we might have back to our full speed. Oh, really? You can't be damaged unless your head's up. Even with a bomb. Feels a little rude. How is this guy so resilient to bomb damage? Wow. Okay. Unfortunately, wrong way once again here, but our speed is getting back to it. It's getting back to normal. Keep forgetting, like, I keep placing bombs down and being like, oh shit, that's too close to me, and I'm like, actually, it doesn't at all matter. 
Now, unfortunately, this is going to be a room that we can't complete easily. So we have to actually get close to these enemies we want to blow up first. There you go. Otherwise, it just won't understand. Oh, God. Am I, again, am I immune to explosions? Because I'm just not taking explosive damage where I think I would. Okay. Very quick job of killing these guys, though. I wanted that burn heart so bad that I uh, just kind of destroyed myself to get it. Really, just another pill. Guys, teleport. I don't like that. My bombs are the only thing that's supposed to teleport. Thank you very much. Such a weird setup this is. It's working out reasonably well for us at the moment, though. And we should be on to the boss, as you say, here, but... Again, I was wrong. I've been very bad at guessing locations at the moment, haven't I? Nun's Habit, which is not amazing, but could potentially get us an extra charge here or there. I'm going to use Dad's Battery to just absolutely whack a bunch of synergies on at the end uh, once we get to the boss. Ooh, a random heart container. Don't mind if I do. It's a full one as well, which I appreciate. The fact that it's full is much, much better. Come on, boss. Where you at? Getting very bad items here. <laughs> items are just a no good for me. Where's my bomb upgrades? Not that I haven't got enough already, but come on. I'm actually getting an additional regular charge for the boss here. Seems to be taking us a while to find the boss. Yeah, we are going to get one more. Boom, bow. And then we got two of those going. Hey, we got scatter bombs. Scatter bombs is what we wanted, really. Sp scatter bombs and cross bombs. This is uh, quite a lot of damage with the teleportation in effect. Yeah, <laughs> this guy has absolutely no chance here. This is wild. Look at that. Oh my god. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Pretty fun Dr. Fetus run. I hope you are satisfied indeed. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.